today we are going to discuss a lesson on organizational and administrative setup of health system in India at national level. Now we have introduction. An organization is a coordinated unit consisting of people who function to achieve a common goal or a set of goals. According to Stephen Robbins, organization is a consciously coordinated social entity with a relatively identifiable boundary that functions on a relatively continuous basis to achieve a common goal or set of goal. It is the interaction of people in order to achieve goals or objectives which form the basis of an organization. India has relatively poor health outcomes despite having a well-developed administrative system, good technical skills in many fields, and an extensive network of public health institutions for research, training, and diagnostics. This suggests that the health system may be misdirecting its efforts or be poorly designed. The official organs of the health system that a national level consists of number one, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, number two, the Directorate General of Health Services, and number third, the Central Council of Health and Family Welfare. Now we have constitutional role of India's Central Ministry of Health. There are three lists in the Constitution of India. The lists are services or items to be catered to the citizens. The three lists are the union lease, the state lease, and the concurrent lease. Only the central government is responsible and empowered to pass the legislation and make laws on the union lease. In the case of state lease, only the state government are empowered to make laws. And finally, both the central and state governments share responsibility for making laws in the cases of concurrent lease. However, union laws are given authority to override state laws for items in the concurrent lease. The health-related provisions in the union lease relate to port, quarantine, research, and scientific and technical education. The concurrent lease includes prevention of the extension from the state to another or infectious or contagious diseases or pests. And other issues with wider national ramifications such as food and drugs, family planning, medical education, and vital statistics. All other public health and environmental sanitation services are supposed to be the exclusive responsibility of the states. However, the center exercises a great deal of power through fiscal control. Post-independence India has had a tradition of centralized planning and policy making and decentralized implementation and the relative financial strength of the central government which is rooted in constitutional fiscal provision has given it a significant leverage to determine the end use of its developed fund to the states. Thus, although public health is deemed a state subject Health policy, development, and program design are carried out centrally. Using its financial and political leverage, the central government can persuade the state to work towards specific health objectives and priorities and provide the necessary technical support for these. An example of this is rural sanitation, which is listed as a state subject but was largely neglected until the central government 
formulated a central rural sanitation program in 1984. This led the state to implement rural sanitation schemes. Now we have the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare aims to bring better health condition in India. The ministry functions through various organizations, institutions, and commissions to fulfill its aim. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is headed by a cabinet level health minister. However, as the ministry is a part of the executive of the Indian government, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has three independent departments, it's headed by a secretary. Number one, the Department of Health. Number two, the Department of Family Welfare. And number third, the Department of Indian System of Medicine and Homeopathy. In addition, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has two additional secretaries, eight joint secretaries and 30 officers of the rank of directors excluding technical advisors. Now we have the Department of Health. The Department of Health broadly deals with public health, medical services, medical education, food and drug standards, professional councils, and international aids and health research. Although not specified in the business rule, the Department of Health traditionally deals with health policy and that of family welfare deals with rural health infrastructures. The Department of Indian System of Medicine and Homeopathy deals with all matters relating to alternative system of medicine that is Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, Homeopathy, Naturopathy and Yoga. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare which is Department of Health is supported in its work by a vast network of autonomous research and training institutions which are spread all over the countries but administratively under the central government. These include the National Institute of Communicable Diseases which was set up as a center for disease control the Central Bureau of Health Intelligence, several apex and regional training institutes and specialized institutions such as Central Food Laboratory and Central Drugs Laboratory. It is also includes the Indian Council of Medical Research which is headquartered in New Delhi and has a regional six medical research centers and over 20 specialized research institutions and laboratories across the country. Some of the programs formulated by the Department of Health focus on the following. Number one, National Malaria Control Program. Number two, National Leprosy Eradication Program. Number third, National Program for Control of Blindness. Number fourth, National AIDS Control Program. Number fifth, National Cancer Control Program. Number six, National Vector Bone Diseases Control Program. Number seven, National Tuberculosis Control Program. Number eight, National Mental Health Program. Number nine, Universal Immunization Program. Now we have the Department of Family Welfare. The Department of Family Welfare is primarily responsible for family planning and maternal and child health. The Department of Family Welfare is supported by another network of institutions and 18 research centers across the country. Besides this, the work of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare 
is supported by institutions run by other bodies, such as Central Government's Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, which has institutions specialized in drug research and environmental engineering. Now we have the Department of Indian System of Medicine and Homeopathy. The Indian System of Medicine and Homeopathy was created in March 1995. It consists of Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani and Homeopathy and therapies such as Yoga and Naturopathy. Earlier, this traditional system of medicine were under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Some of these systems are indigenous and other have over the years become a part of Indian tradition. These are also known as alternative medicine system as different from allopathy. Now we have functions of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The functions of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare includes number one, international health relation and administration of quarantine, number two, administration of central health institutes, number third, promotion of research through research center, number four, regulation and development of medical, pharmaceutical, dental and nursing professions, number five, establishment and maintenance of drug standards, number six, census and collection and publication of other statistical data, number seven, coordination with state and other ministries for promotion of health, number eight, immigration and immigrate, number nine, regulation of levels and working of mines and oil fields, number ten, prevention of communicable disease and food adulteration, number eleven, population control and family planning. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare also gives special facilities to the weaker section so that they are not deprived for lack of money. Being an important part of the central government, the department also conduct various educational program to create mass awareness. The Central Institute of Psychiatry, the National Institute of Communicable Diseases and Homeopathic Pharmacopoeia Laboratory are the subordinate offices of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. There are also number of board and council which help in the work of the ministry. This board and council are listed below. Number one, National Board of Examination. Number two, National Council of Medical Research. Number third, Central Council for Research in Ayurveda and Siddha. Number fourth, Medical Council of India. Number fifth, Central Council for Research in Yunani Medicine. Number six, National Medicinal Plant Board. Number seven, Central Council for Research in Homeopathy. Besides these, we have some of the autonomous bodies. There are also some autonomous bodies which are directly controlled by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. These organizations are number one, Jawaharlal Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research, so called JIPMA. Number two, Morazi Desai National Institute of Yoga. Number third, International Institute for Population Science. Number four, National Institute of Homeopathy. Number five, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, so called AMS. Number six, National Institute of Ayurveda. Number seven, Rastriya Ayurveda Vidyapit. Number eight, National Institute of Mental Health 
and Neurosciences, so called Nimhans. Number 9, Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research, Chandigarh. Number 10, National Institute of Naturopathy. Number 11, Northeastern Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Sciences. Number 12, National Tuberculosis Institute. Number 13, Lalaram Swarup Institute of Tuberculosis and Respiratory Diseases. Now we have Organization of Directorate General of Health Services. The Directorate General of Health Services is a technical body under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The head of the organization is the Director General of Health Services under whom are four additional Director Generals looking after various health and family welfare activities. The Director General of Health Services also renders technical advice on all medical and public health matters and in the implementation of various health schemes. In order to implement the policies and program of the ministry in an effective manner, there are three subordinate offices located at various places in the country which function directly under the ministry. The ministry is also administratively concerned with 29 autonomous bodies. There are also three public sector undertakings under the administrative control of the ministry. It is the principal advisor to the central government in both medical and public health measures. The function of Directorate General of Health Services are as follows. Number one, administration of international health relation and quarantine of all major airport in country and international airport. Number two, control of drug standards. Number three, management of medical store depot. Number four, administration of postgraduate training programs to different categories of health personnel. Number five, administration of certain medical colleges in India. Number six, in charge of medical education. Number seven, conducting medical research through Indian Council of Medical Research. Number eight, provide aids, promote and coordinate scientific research on human disease. Number nine, introduce central government health schemes. Number 10, implement national health programs. Number 11, prepare health education material for creating health awareness through Health Education Bureau. Number 12, collect, compile, analyze, evaluate, and disseminate of information. Number 13, manage the National Medical Library for the advancement of medical sciences. So now we have Organization of Central Council of Health. Union Minister of Health as the Vice Chairman head the Central Council of Health. This institute advises the government on policy matters regarding the provision of remedial, promotive and preventive care environmental hygiene, nutrition, health education, and the promotion of facilities for the training and research. The function of the Central Council of Health are as follows. Number one, to consider and recommend board outlines of policy related to matters concerning health like environmental hygiene, nutrition, and health education. Number two, to make 
proposal for the legislation relating to medical and public health matters. Number third, to make recommendation to the central government regarding distribution of grants in it. So now we have conclusion. Organizational and administrative setup of health system in the country extend from national level to village level. The organizational setup at a national level consists of the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The ministry is headed by cabinet level health minister. It has three departments with the Department of Health, the Department of Family Welfare, and the Department of Indian System of Medicine and Homeopathy. Each of this department is headed by respective secretaries to the Government of India. The Department of Health and Family Welfare is supported by a technical wing, the Directorate General of Health Services, headed by Directorate General of Health Services. The Department of Health broadly deals with public health, medical services, medical education, food and drug standards, professional councils, and international aid and health resources. Whereas, the Department of Family Welfare is primarily responsible for family planning and maternal and child health.